Hello, hello, hello. Today is Sunday, January 23, 2022. Solutions to problem 132. Very simple circuit. Two voltmeters, they have the same internal resistance of 10,000 ohms, and here a resistor 5,000 ohms. Straightforward, you would think. Yeah, but there is here a changing magnetic field. A changing magnetic field, that means that there is an induced EMF. And that may have been a problem for some of you. There are even some of my viewers who said that Kieshoff loop rule, KVL, must hold here. That is very embarrassing. How on earth can KVL work here? There is a change in magnetic field. So there is a flux, magnet magnetic flux change through this surface attached to this closed loop. So clearly, Kieshoff loop rule can never work. Which laws do work here? Well, Ohm's law works. Ohm's law always works. No limitations. Faraday's law works. Faraday's law always works. <laughs> no limitations either. And the fact that there is a current going around in a circle here, going in this direction, going in this direction, because it the potential difference here is plus 0.1 volt. The current must go through here and go through here. So that means that there is a, an EMF that keeps this current going. If Kirchhoff loop rule would hold and you would add the voltages all the way around, you would have to go zero, but you don't. All right, so for those of you who applied somehow KVL, that's only embarrassing. Now, since the voltage here is 0.1, this is higher and this is lower, the same current that goes through here goes also through here. It goes in the upper direction, so this voltmeter will then indicate minus 0.1 volt. Simple as that. We know the current, we can calculate it, because we know the internal resistance and we know the, the current, because it's 0.1 volts. So we can calculate the current that goes through here, must also go through here, and so without Faraday's law, only using Ohm's law, you can now calculate what the induced EMF is, which of course is the result of Faraday's law. So let's now look numerically at the solution. Here we are. A, first question, what does the voltmeter on the right indicate? Clearly that is minus 0.1 volts. Now, you know the potential difference over the voltmeter on the left, it's plus 0.1 volts. And you know its resistance is 10 to the 4. So clearly the current that is going around counterclockwise is 10 to the minus 5 amperes. Now Ohm's law always holds. So that current is going through both voltmeters and it is going through the resistance R. That closed loop integral going around is not zero. If it were zero, <laughs> there wouldn't be an induced EMF. KVL does not work. But you see here, with Ohm's law alone, you can calculate the induced EMF. It's 0.25 volts. And that 0.25 volts is the result of the changing magnetic flux through an open surface attached 
to the closed loop. So I made it very easy for you, namely that you can solve the entire problem using only Ohm's law. And out then pops the EMF, the induced EMF, which is the result of Faraday's law. As simple as that. Many of you have it wrong, I would say 65% uh, have it right. So we'll leave it with that. I would say this is only an advanced high school problem.